Hello, hello, hello. All right. Hello, everybody. Brian France here with Mortgage Broker Marketing uh, with a very special webinar, uh, your 2021, um, the new 21, the new 2021 internet uh, <laughs> uh, SEO formula. Sorry, we did a SEO or a internet marketing webinar recently. So um, very excited for today's webinar. I see a, a number of you jumping in. Thank you for joining. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen. And where do I do that? And there we go. All right. So um, this is all part of the 2021 Internet Marketing Plan uh, series where we really unpack every avenue of your digital marketing um, from PPC, SEO, how to optimize your website for conversion. Today, very, very excited for the, uh, the 2021 um, new SEL formula. So all part of the digital dominance method that where we talk about every part of the, your online marketing. Um, SEO is a huge chunk of that. This is your foundation. And I'll show you some of the results that we're getting for our clients. Um, you know, as, com you know, in comparison to all the other uh, forms of online advertising. Um, so if you can uh, hear me, please go ahead. Where did my Zoom controls go? Um, this webinar, if you can hear, if you can hear me, uh, jump in the chat, let me know. I'd like to make this as interactive as possible. Um, and I will, I'm going to want to pull up the chat. So I see that. There we go. All right. Just put a one in chat. Got it. Okay, great. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Amanda. Appreciate it. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, it, for the next 60 minutes, if you could just Pay attention, right? Shut down all those uh, all those other tabs. Close Facebook. Shut down your phone. Uh, if you're serious about your your business, these the, these next sixty minutes are, are really critical. So, just ask for your for your attention and some feedback. Also, um, I'll be pulling up some websites. If you wanna um, if you wanna drop yours in the chat, I'd be uh, happy to take a, take a look. But so what we're going to cover today is the, the latest changes with the Google algorithm, the things you may have put in place in the past, just not working today. Um, it could be hurting you. Um, and then, how, you know, how to optimize your website using the new SEO formula. Um, so who am I and why you should listen to me? My name is Brian France. I'm the owner of Mortgage Broker Marketing been working with mortgage companies uh, since 2013. And so we, we've been doing this quite a while. Uh, we started working exclusively with mortgage companies in 2017, at the beginning of 2017. So we wrote the book. Uh, drop a note in chat if any, of you, um, if any of you have received this book. If you'd like to receive this book, I'll send you the, send you the link for that. But we wrote the book on internet marketing for mortgage brokers, where we really outline everything that we do for, for, uh, for our clients. Um, and yeah, I think the most important thing about all this, right, we've worked with mortgage companies um, from coast to coast, dozens of them. And, you know, so th this, is, what I'm sharing today is, is based on real world, like real life, this is what we do every day. So I'm sharing those, uh, those results. Um, yeah, so this is, this is what we do, right? We're, the one, we're building the website, setting up the funnels, setting up the ads, all that. So <clears throat> does SEO still matter? Maybe I should put this in uh, percent mode, huh? There we go. I think that's a little better. Um, so does SEO still matter? Uh, so this is this is uh, one of our clients here. 
ranking. Um, it's been with us since 2016. And if, if you think about the, the search results page, compared to the ads, you get 71% of the clicks are going into the organic spots, right? So this three pack here is critical, getting, getting placement here. And so we're gonna be sharing the strategies, how we get our clients ranked here, what things to do on and off the website. Um, but yeah, 70% 70, 70 of the searchers go to the organic listings, right? And here's another one of our clients. Um, and 67% of those are going to the first listings, right? So yes, SEO does matter, right? And if you, if you see here, the amount, the, this was done, I think yesterday, and you can see how many calls come from the Google My Business listing, right? We got 49 first time calls, 28 from the website in the last 30 days. Um, so it's powerful. Um, and then look, look at this. We have, this is our client in Miami. How, like, how many calls come from the, PP, from the pay-per-click ads and how many come from the, from the website, from the organic listings, right? So you got 60 calls from first-time uh, first callers uh, from the Google My Business listing, 60 from, that's 120 calls organic compared to 28 from the PPC, right? So 81% of the calls are coming from our organic, right? So yes, SEO does matter. It's gonna be the lion's share of your, of your business. So the, the four biggest changes with, uh, with the Google al algorithm, um, you, can no, you can no longer get away with duplicate content. So having pages with, uh, it, it used to be a practice, you know, to get ranked in certain cities, to, um, to create a page, optimize for that city, and just change, just change the, the city name, right? So use the same content across all these city pages and get those pages ranked in the search results, right? It's gonna get a lot of visibility. Well, that used to work. That doesn't, that, you, you can no longer get away with that, right? Um, so no more duplicate content. Also, low quality links, right? This is, this is could, these links could be hurting your website, right? Bringing down the authority. Um, so it, it's important to, you know, some, some strategies in the past, drop a one in chat if you've, if you've heard this, right? It's all about links, right? And there was practices out there where you could get like a, a ton of links pointed back to your website really quickly, really easily. You could set up these uh, blog networks that link back to you. Well, those links could now be hurting you. Um, and you need a you need a real physical office address in the city you wanna you wanna rank for. Um, th that's just the that's just the reality of it. You're not going to be able to rank for, you know, getting an address like a like a UP uh, like a or like a PO box or like a mailbox etc. Um, you need a real physical office address in the city you want to rank. Uh, the city you want to rank in and site speed matters. So site speed, how quickly your, your site loads on mobile and on desktop is very important. Um, and so, yeah, th so that, that first one, you can no longer get away with duplicate content, right? Um, most mortgage companies serve an entire state. So, you know, there's lots of little cities and towns and it used to be, it used to be common to set up, uh, set up a page for each one of these cities, and you know, in the in that content, you, like you, you set up one page of content, right? It's it's a lot of work to have a writer write for like ten different cities, right? Like five hundred, like a good amount of uh, words on the page. It's a lot of work for a, a, a writer to write that quality content. Uh, so what people used to do, they used to write one page and just change the city and create like dupe, like 
number a number of pages, right? And then get those pages ranked in the search results. Well, Google's tracking that. We can't do that anymore. Um, or there, you know, lots of people they'll set up like little micro sites in uh, in each one of those cities with the same content across all of the all of the websites. Again, just changing the city name. Um, that's not gonna that's not gonna fly in in, in today's uh, with with Google. Google's tracking this. So your your, your pages need to be unique, right? The, all the content from page to page needs to be unique, needs to be well written for two things, right? For the search results for the search engine and for the, the user, right? We can't just, you know, write it for the search, search engine, um, you know, because people are going to be visiting that. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's got to be, it's got to be valuable for the person visiting. And, and too many, too many low quality links, links from unrelated sources, like unrelated to the mortgage industry um, could, could hurt your, your website, right? It could bring down the authority of your website. So really, um, it, it, it used to be all about links, right? Like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you used to be able to put a domain out there, get a bunch of links on it. You can, there was all types of service providers that, you know, provided a thousand links, right? And that would raise your authority. Well, now it's all about quality, right? Um, the penguin update, the, the Google penguin update address this. And so it's, a, it's good to look at, at your, at your link, uh, the links pointing back to your website and evaluate them. Like, are these hurting or helping you? Are these related to you? What, where is this website that's linking to me? Is it from a like a credible source, um, and you, you you could you could evaluate them, look at them. If some need to be removed, you can you can get them removed or disavowed, and so they're not on your link profile. Um, and you want to work to to have some diversity in your anchor text, and your um, and like your links. Right, so the anchor text is what is what is wrote to link on on uh, back to your website. So if it's like mortgage broker, you know, in in your city, and it's pointing back to your website. Well, if you have a hundred of those, and the, and those are the only links you have, that doesn't look very natural in Google's eyes. Right, Google's going to look at that and be like, okay, this doesn't seem natural like a natural link back to your website might have a variety of different anchor text that's driving that link back to your website. So there's, there's gotta be diversity in there, right? It can't all be like the same word, right? The same keyword that you're, that you're going after. Um, that's not gonna fly. <laughs> so number three, so yeah, you, you do need a, a real physical office where people can come and visit, right? People can come to the office, visit, and that, that's, that's just uh, what it is. Um, I, I can show you, you know, many, many listings out there where people have gotten away with, you know, like a, like a home address or something like that. Um, the pigeon update address this and Google has made it very clear. They don't want this, right? They don't want, you know, UPS stores add, you know, your address at a UPS store. Someone's going to go to that, to that address and, you know, try to, try to talk to you. And am I frozen right now? It looks like I froze. Can everyone still hear? Um, that's going to be a problem. Uh oh. I hope I'm not frozen. Can everyone still hear me? Not responding. Uh oh.
wait for the pro. Sorry, it looks like my, my computer has frozen and that's not good. Come on. I'm still able to move this. Sorry, guys. If this is, uh, I'm not getting any response from anyone anymore. Uh oh. Oh no. Let me see if I can log back out. Hmm. Now it's saying All right, I think I'm back. Sorry about that. I got logged out of here. Um Can everyone still hear me? See my screen? Am I muted? Start video. The panelist. Okay, I'm good now. Okay, thanks, guys. Sorry, I I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, okay, let me get back over here. Um, yeah, so let's go. Where are we right here? Yeah, so um, need a, re a real physical office. Um, is my video going on yet? It looks like it is. Um, I can't see it anymore. Well, oh well. <laughs> um, so yeah, the 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 pigeon update right has. The, it used to be a practice, right, to to set up a, a fake a fake address or like a, a UPS or a PO box, right? Well, Google has cracked on down about this. They're very you can't do this anymore. Um, you know, the, there may be instances out there where people are getting away with it, but it's only a matter of time before um, before this, you know, before it's it's over. Um, and, and, and the work from home addresses, right? That, that's not gonna, it's not gonna work as well as a real physical office location where someone can come and visit. They can, they can visit the office, they can sit down. I know a lot of, you know, even some of our clients, they never see any of their clients. They're, they're, everything's done um, online. You know, they, they really don't have a need to, to have an office, but this is gonna help you rank much better. Um, yeah, so that's 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 what it is, um, and you know, and, and you know, people used to also set up these Google listings in certain in certain areas um, that they're actually not in, right? But they would use these fake addresses. That used to work. It's not working anymore, right? You can't set up a new. It, it's it's going to get caught, and. Uh, that brings us to number four, right? And I mentioned earlier, site speed matters. So site, site speed plays a huge factor in the algorithm nowadays. So if you have, um, 
it, it's likely that you have a website that looks like it loads okay, but in reality, it takes it. it it's it's actually taking you know four, five, six, seven, eight seconds. We were we were try, we were trying to figure. We've been trying to figure this out since 2012, right? Trying to get our our websites looking as good as this. And you can go to this link here if any of you want to. Um, I'm going to pull it up and if one of you want to drop your website into, uh, into this, um, into the chat, I can, I can run it through this tool. I don't know if you, if you've ever seen this, but Google has a tool out there that you can, you can test your site speed, right? On both mobile and desktop and they're tracking this, right? And if your website is not loading fast, right? It's not loading in a timely fashion, this, this, it could be hurting you two ways, right? It could be hurting you in the rankings. Google's looking at that. It could be hurting you uh, also by conversion. Um, so check out that link. There's a couple different tools and I'll share with you. But here, why don't I um, drop that into the chat and um, I'll, I'll just met with someone today. What was it? Um, mortgage. Uh, I just met with someone. I want to um, member mortgage, right? And member mortgage services, Michigan. And thanks, Jim. Here we go. So if uh, I'll put that put that here, right? And let this load in the background while we go, just so you can, you can see, it, it doesn't take very long um, to check the speed of, the, of, of your website, but this is, this is going to be important. So I encourage you guys, you know, use that link, check the, the speed of your site. And you can see on, on mobile, they're struggling, right? On desktop, it's not terrible, 76, which is not bad. But on mobile, this this could be hurting this this company, right? They have a decent looking website. It's um, you know, if you if you look at it, it's not it's not terrible, right? But it's not it's not optimized properly. It needs some work. But you know, it, it looks professional. It looks like it wasn't done by a twelve year old. And the you know loading on mobile that this. This is a huge factor. 50% of your, you know, uh, of the people coming to your website are visiting via their mobile device. This becomes very important. So I'll move, um, move that over here. So um, yeah, so check check this out. Run your run your website through that <clears throat> and see what uh, see what it comes back with. <clears throat> and. You can also see on like this is one of our clients like where where he was um, before and then where he was uh, after um, all A's right and so old fashioned like what has changed right old fashioned SEO right just buying links <clears throat> setting up uh, fake addresses things like that <clears throat> in the post panda pigeon penguin era. These are all like algorithm updates, uh, significant algorithm updates uh, throughout, the, throughout the years. Um, it's all about user experience. And the, the new SEO formula is gonna focus a lot on that user experience, right? So page, pay, like site speed matters. Um, <clears throat> and so what is, what is the, the new ranking factors, right? Click-through rate. So the, the rate that your website gets clicked, right? So if you appear in a search result and your website gets clicked, right? How, how often does your website get clicked compared to how many times uh, the search is performed, right? How many times your, an impression was made? Um, and so you really wanna, you really wanna set up your your titles and your meta descriptions to to attract a click, right? Um, and and scroll rate are people going to your going to your website? Are they are they 
browsing around on your website? Are they scrolling around? Are they visiting other pages? Right. Once they get to the homepage, if they quickly leave, that's not a good sign in Google, right? That's, that's showing them something isn't right, right? It didn't answer their question. Um, and the time on the page is a big deal, right? Use multimedia, use video, um, imagery, real imagery of you, of you and your team, your office um, is going to go a long way. <clears throat> and the bounce rate, right? Keeping your bounce rate down really low, um, getting people to click on more pages of your site is going to help. Um, the number of citations, reviews, relevant links, right? Quality relevant links to your website. Page speed, um, huge factor. And I'll show you, um, I'll show you here in a, in a little bit, but what you, what you want to do is figure out like the most important key terms in, in, uh, you know, for a mortgage, right? It's not just mortgage or home loans or, you know, loan officer, um, you really want to think like people know about like FHA and like VA, um, reverse, um, you know, conventional, like they're, they're going to be typing these, these types of things out to get some questions answered. And so you really, you want to optimize, um, for all your loan programs, all the, the, the main keywords like mortgage broker, mortgage lender, home loans, um, and you do that by, you know, you look at the search volume of there, there's tools out there that can, you know, provide you with the search volume of, you know, throughout, throughout like a year, it'll average it down into like a month, like, oh, okay, like nine, this one gets searched 900 times a month and this one gets searched 10 times a month. Well, which one do you want to optimize for, right? You want to optimize for the one that gets searched, you know, a lot more, um, and you set up a, you know, you set up a great website with unique pages targeting those key terms, right? So pages for all the loan programs, each city that you have a location in, um, and user experience, right? You optimize your site for user experience. So giving the, the user what it wants, right? You answer questions, um, you provide value. Right. If you just have like a couple sentences and a, a couple bullet points on a page, that's not going to provide a whole lot of value for the person visiting that page. So you really want to think through all the pages, all the content uh, to really provide a, a great user experience. And then the on-site optimization is done by looking at there's certain there's certain areas of the website that um, that have tags, right? So like heading tags, you want to have keywords plus your city in these, um, or city and state, right? In these, in these heading tags in each, on each page of your website, right? So for instance, on the FHA loan page, on the FHA page, right? You have something, you have a, a tag in there that's mentioning the keyword FHA loan plus the city and state, right? So San Diego, California. Um, and, and then the, and then the, the title and the meta description of that, uh, of that page would, would have that. And so let me, um, go ahead and do this. Um, we just set up a, a new, a new website here. And so this is, this is a new site we just set up. Can everyone see that? Got it. Thanks. Um, so yeah, this uh, th this site we just set up, and thanks, Teresa. And so the okay, so the the title tag up here, right, is the the main keyword we're, we're targeting, right? Mortgage broker Dallas, Texas, right, with the state code there. And we we fit in a, another little key term, right, and followed by her her company name. If you scroll down this main H1 here, it's like, you know, your trusted Dallas mortgage broker. Like we're, we want to show up for this. Um, and we just, we, we just started working with Martha, uh, Martha out of Dallas last month. And the website went live yesterday. And so <clears throat> we're tracking these things. Now, if you, 
if we go to one of the loan options pages, right, like FHA, title tag FHA loans, Dallas, Texas, right? FHA loans in Texas, right? And you see our content now is answering questions, right? And there's, an, there's enough there's enough content here to provide value to someone, right? They can learn about the FHA loan. They can, they could also, we're also trying to, you know, get people into her funnel. We want people to um, start filling out these forms, call. So that's optimizing for user experience, right? So let me know if that makes sense. Uh, drop a one in chat. If, uh, great, thanks guys. Um, Appreciate it. So here, um, oh, and then, yeah. And then offsite optimization, how you optimize off your website, right? Is there's things done to build up the authority of your website. And I'll get into that, like what we're doing for our clients uh, to really do that. And you wanna track your results. So here's a, here's a, a a list of key, of keywords. If you let me drop this uh, this in chat for you, and well, it just forwarded me to my my keywords. If you guys want that, um, you can see that these these are the the most important key key terms that we've found that get searched frequently, and um, and so, yeah, feel free to look at them. I'm sure you, you know, you're familiar with these, um, but the, these, these keywords, I mean, we, we track this, right. And this is what we we're tracking all of our clients for all these key terms and we want to get ranked for all these terms. So the, the content we continually provide has these key terms in it, right. Um, and we, we have these pages on the website. So the, the, on, the on-site optimization, right, is a strong website with good content and user experience, right? We, did, we just went through that. You, wanna, you, you also want to think, like, how, how do we keep someone on the website? How do we get them to click to this page? You have to think through that, right? And you can use multimedia to keep, like, use a video, to, to keep people on the page, right? This is gonna, Google's gonna see that, right? People go, they're not going to the website and then like jumping off, right? If you keep them on the page, it's gonna show good signs. It's gonna show good quality, right? To, to Google. Um, and you want, you want to have a page for each one of your loan programs. I see a lot of website providers out there, a lot of like mortgage website template builders they set up a website, you lease it from them very cheap, right? You, you spend maybe a couple hundred bucks a month for that website. Well, that content that they use on that website is used across all of the websites that they, that they use uh, or that for all their clients. <laughs> and so, um, and sometimes on these pages, like on the page about FHA loans, they might have a page about it, but they're, there's like three bullet points and two sentences. Right? That's not that's not answering a lot of questions. That's not providing a lot of value for the person visiting that site. And so Google is going to look at that. It's it's going to be very tough to rank that website, right? With that with with low quality like low quality pages, it's going to be very tough to rank that website, especially in a competitive market. You may get away with it in a very small market, but in, in a competitive market, like in a, you know, over, over 200,000 people, it's going to be tough. Um, and you want to also think about like the cities. If, if you have a, if you have a brokerage and you have a, you know, a couple different locations, right? Like one in Dallas or one in Houston, you want to create a page for each one of those locations that you have. Um, and you, the, the pages the content on those pages needs to be unique. They can't be, you can't just use the same content from page to page and just change the city. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work in today's, uh, in today's world. Um, and then yeah, throughout the, throughout the site, it's gotta, it's, 
there's got to be enough unique content um, throughout every single page. And the, and the keyword in the H1, uh, the keyword in the title and the H1, right? The title tag is that, that main, um, when I pulled it up here, that title tag here is right here. And this is the H1, right? So here we go. <clears throat> and here we go. Oh, and then the meta description, what shows up? in the search results page, right? You got the main title tag and then that, that description underneath, that really sells the click, right? So use that area to get people to get into the website. Uh, it's not important to put keywords and things like that in there. You want to, that the person visiting the search results page, you want to sell them to get to your website. So use that um, to your advantage, right? And that, that click through rate is important, right? If, if we continually put, or if Google continually puts you in front of people and no one clicks to your website, they're like, yeah, no, that's not working. That's not gonna, they'll find some, another website. They got thousands of them that they can, you know, that they can swap in there. And your, your name, address and phone number in the footer of your website. Um, and you blog ongoing, right? You continually blog, answer questions. Our, our team, we look, at, um, we look at our clients' search terms reports and we can, we can find things that people type in that our client isn't really wait, ranking too well for, like a, like, a, like a question, right? Or sometimes they're looking, you know, we'll, we'll find like an opportunity like in a, in a little suburb of like a mortgage broker in this like little suburb, we'll write a piece of content for that and get that ranked in there and then start getting more traffic like that. So, um, and, and the way you syndicate the content, which I'm excited to share about here in a moment, um, what, what we're doing to get our content and, you know, out to these, uh, these news sites, um, and really look at your page speed, really focus on that uh, for desktop and mobile. Um, but yeah, I, uh, you know, I have an example here. This is um, our client in Indianapolis. What, uh, I mean, what's, what's happened with, uh, with him? Did I pull up the, um, the calls report. Well, if we just look, um, I can log into it really quickly. And <clears throat> I won't show any phone numbers or anything like that. I know this is uh, being recorded. So I don't want that going on. Well, over the last 30 days, right, his Google listing got 50 first time calls, right? and 24 from the website. So about 74 uh, calls, right? And people, if we do that search, you can see he's number one, right? And he's right here. So this, this search result gets over 2,000 views every month, right? Or P, like we're in front of 2000 people every single month because of his placement here. And these, these searches are performed frequently. And so, um, and so that's why, that's why he has, you know, 70, 70 something calls to deal with every, every single month. Um, without a doubt, as long as someone's answering the phone, they're getting business. So let me check the chat. If any of you guys have any questions, let me know. Perfect. Um, so, so off the site, right? So off, so we talked about on-page optimization. How, you, how do you get the authority built up for your website is done off the website, right? It's very important to have on-site, like to have your your website 
strong with on-site optimization, it's very important, but that's not going to get you, that's not going to be it, right? You can't just focus on your website. There needs to be authority built for that website to get it, to get trust with Google, to get, to get it ranked well. And, you know, you do this by claiming and optimizing your Google My Business listing. Opti you optimize it with images, um, with, uh, with reviews, right? So real, and, you know, responding to those reviews uh, is very important. Um, you get lots of citations. So citations are uh, listings around the web that have your name, your business name, your address, and your phone number. And having these citations built with consistency, right? There's, there's some citations that, you know, uh, have more authority like Yelp or Facebook, right? These are citations um, like super pages, uh, yp.com. These, these are all areas that your business can be listed on that has your name, address, and phone number. Um, you wanna build up the online reviews, um, especially in Google and Yelp right? And Facebook. Um, and you build authoritative links back to your websites from, from other websites, right? So a, an authoritative website is, is, you know, a website that's been, that's been out there for a while that has some sort of relevancy in mortgage, right? It could be like finance, real estate, these things, having links on these websites back to your website, is going to is going to help a lot. Um, the, the, these are there's a, a number of different links that you want to think about, right? Like authoritative um, with uh, like relevance. There's also like local relevance, right? To in your city, there's there's websites and uh, you know pages around in and around your city that you can get listed on that could have a link back to your website, right? So local, um, you know, industry specific, like industry related and um, links with like your brand. Uh, and so uh, I don't wanna get too, uh, too deep into all this, but um, so the, the, the content, so how do you syndicate your content across a number of different channels, right? You write a piece of content. I know, I know this piece of content uh, on your website. You, you, put a, you put a piece of content out there, a blog. Well, how do you get it out there into hundreds of new sites um, to really build up this authoritativeness of your website? And you know, a simple, a simple blog post doesn't cut it anymore. And so what I wanted to share is a, a real authority building signal in Google's eyes, right? And it's building this eat, right? This eat is expertise, authoritativeness and trustworthiness, right? In Google, Google's looking at this with your content, right? Is it does it, you know, offer expertise, authoritativeness, um, and trustworthiness, right? And so, um, we what we've been doing is writing our clients' blog posts. Um, okay, Teresa, I got it. You're uh, you got to run. No problem. Thanks for joining. Uh, this will be recorded, so I'll send it to you after. But. Um, so how do we how do we how do we do this? How do we get this is what the search algorithm is hungry for, right? Is is content that has authority, right? That that it comes from an expert. Um, and how do, how we solve this is you know and the, <laughs> this is the periodic table of SEO, like what what's working. Our team studies this heavily. Um, so there's, you know, there, there's tons of different things that you can focus on, but you can see their authority. Um, and, you know, there's many different ranking factors, but these, the, the way Google does their, like, does their, 
their search result, right? Comes down to like proximity, like how close is your business to the searcher? Relevance, like how relevant is, it, relevant is the search to your business? Um, so, you know, that's why you, you really think about like your content and how you optimize it on your, on your site. Prominence is like, how prominent are you in your market? Um, how authoritative are you? How, like, uh, how much of an expert is your, is, is your content uh, written? And so what we've been able to do is, you know, write a piece of content for, for one of our clients. And you can see this, this piece of content now can, is, on a, is on a news site, right? And it's got links back to his, his Google listing, right? We, we're, we're putting posts on his Google listing. We're linking to it in these news stories um, and, you know, sending it back to uh, a number of different, a number of different um, pages on his website, uh, his Google listing, some of the reviews, really building up the authority uh, for our client's website. And you can see like our client now is the author of this like the original source came from a blog post that we posted and we pushed it out onto a new site now. Um, and this new site also includes his, his address, his company name, their company phone number, right? High, you know, high trust from these new sites uh, linking back to our clients websites. Um, and so I don't know of a lot of other, uh, you know, marketing companies uh, for mortgage companies that are doing this. Um, but this is really building up our clients eat profile, right? The expertise, the authoritativeness, the trust. And Google, Google's hungry for that. But uh, let's see. And so you can see some of the some of the results that we get for for our clients, right? Like we're we got 204 new rankings, 66 of them went up in, uh, you know, since we started working with them. Um, here's another one with 113 new rankings. Seven of them are, have, have gone up. <clears throat> um, oh, what did I do? There we go. So here's, oh, no, I wanted to go back. There we go. So on page, so just to recap, right? On page, pages for each one of your loan programs, right? And the main cities that you, that, that you have a location in. You optimize each one of those pages for, with, with, you, you optimize the, the title tags, the H1 tags, and the content for all your pages and the images. And all the pages have unique content, right? From page to page. Google, you claim and optimize your Google map listing. You add your, you add your company to Yex, right? Yex syndicates your company throughout 70 plus high authority citation websites. And, and then there's, there's data aggregators out there that have your information on them and, and, and aggregate them. And so you want to add your, add your business listing to those. Um, and you want, you want to have a strategy to go out and get reviews. Um, a lot of our clients, you know, it's not, we can't just rely on sending them a link, right? Our clients that are, are building up their reviews, they're, they're doing so by, you know, uh, off, like providing a great service, right? They, they have to uh, be awesome <laughs> in, their, in their service, you know, to, to, really, to really earn the, the, the review. Um, they send them a link, at, you know, in a timely fashion after they're closing. But the, what they're also doing, they're tracking, like after a week, if they didn't, if they didn't do that, they're going to give them another call. And you know, the smart ones are also trying to get a referral out of that, 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 that other touch. So I'm sure some of you guys are implementing, you know, that in, in some fashion, 
but really, you know, uh, some of our, some of our clients are incentivizing their loan officers. Like I'll give you 20 bucks for, for each referral or for each review. And, you know, you want to have a system for this. Uh, you want to put some sort of system to send a, send an email, send a text message after you've worked with them, but also you, you, you might have to pick up the phone and, and, uh, you know, and, and get that review. Um, and then adding new citations on a consistent basis, basis, right? And the ongoing content is, you know, blog posting. We're we're blog we're blogging weekly for our clients, and we're pushing these. Not every single one of these blogs get pushed out, but once a month we push these out to our news sites, and it, it creates a, a huge uh, signal generation for for uh, for our clients' websites, and it builds that eat profile. So, um, you know, we're, we're including map embeds in all these, uh, um, all these new sites, bringing a lot of authority back to our Google, our Google map for our client. Um, let's see here. So yeah, you said that really the, the new SEO formula, right? Setting up a great website for each of your loan programs, each of the cities you serve, um, all optimized for the keywords that you want with the, with the city uh, modifier on the, in the title of every page. You need content. You leverage multimedia. So you, you know, have a video. Some, some, I see some of, you guys, some of you guys are comfortable on video, but it, it takes some getting used to. I'm trying to get used to it as well. Um, cause it matters. People love these videos. Google loves them and it keeps people on your website, right? It keeps people on your website for longer. Google loves that. And so you'll get rewarded for it. Um, build reviews, citations, post updated content on an ongoing basis, right? This really proves to Google, like you're, you're providing value. You're answering people's questions. And you're giving people a reason to come back to your website, you know, with a new fresh content, uh, you know, on a consistent basis. And you, you can also leverage paid, uh, paid search avenues like Google ads to figure out in your market, like what people, what are people typing in? uh, the most, <clears throat> you know, some of the, some of the tools out there will give you ideas, but you may like, we're, we're finding in some markets, key terms are being searched, <laughs> you know, hundreds of times more than any of the tools told us. <clears throat> Let me grab some water. So leveraging paid, paid search can really get, you know, get some insights into, uh, into your overall like SEO strategy. <clears throat> you know, one of, if I, if you remember back at the beginning, I shared one of our clients that's leveraging paid search, right? And just the calls, 81% of the calls came from the organic side of our marketing. So uh, if you folk, if, if, you know, if you've, focus on that 80, 20 principle, <laughs> like where do you want to spend most of your time? Um, so yeah, if there's uh, any questions, post them in the comments. I'm here for you. Um, shoot me an email. It's brian at mortgagebrokermarketing.com. Um, I do want to offer anyone on this call a complete analysis of your overall digital marketing. Um, we'll look at your links if there's any hurting you, um, we will look at your website. Um, you can visit, you know, mortgagebrokermarketing.com slash schedule, schedule that. Be happy to run a, a ranking report for all the, the key terms. You can see where you're ranking, see where, even if we don't do business, you can at least walk away with things that you could do to optimize your current website, things that, uh, you know, you can, that you can do in your, um, in your linking, like where, where are you, are you missing some authoritative, like, are you missing some authority uh, links back to your website? Um, you know, what do your citations look like? 
Like, is there could be a lot of inconsistencies there, but um, yeah. So we'll look at, you know, all your, uh, um, all your keywords, give you that ranking report, um, look at your citations, your social presence and everything. But I uh, hope that was uh, helpful for you guys. Let me know if, um, if join me at the back table. So let me know if, uh, if anyone needs anything in the meantime, it's been great. Uh, hope that was uh, easy enough to, to digest and um, I didn't want to get too technical uh, with this stuff, but really wanted to focus on that ongoing content, building that eat profile, right? That expertise, authority, and trust and how you do that. Um, you know, how you, how you prepare for your content and get it out there on news sites and uh, really build that eat profile. So um, this has been uh, a great webinar, 2021, the new 2021 SEO formula. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.